The haze removal filter is a great way to remove haze and fog from your images. Here's how to use it. Now before we actually apply the filter, we just need to move across to the layers panel here and make sure we have the correct layer selected. We do have the correct layer selected in this case, it's the background pixel layer, which is the image. We just need to make sure we haven't accidentally got, for example, an adjustment layer selected. If we run the filter on that layer, it won't work. So we need to make sure we have the actual image selected. Then we can go to filters and haze removal, and it will then run a quick analysis on the image, and here is our result. So on the haze removal dialog here, we have the distance, which is how far back in the image to remove the haze. You'll see as I move the distance slider to the left, we're removing only the haze in the immediate foreground. Then as I move the slider further back, we're removing haze gradually as it goes deeper into the image. Okay, then we have strength which is the overall strength of the haze removal effect. For this image, I'll go for quite a strong effect. Then we have exposure correction. Now, sometimes with images, the haze removal effect may underexpose or darken the image. In fact, sometimes it may even overexpose it, in which case we can just use exposure correction to get the right type of look and feel that we want from this filter. So I'll just bring it down slightly for a bit of a moodier atmosphere with this image. Okay, before we apply the filter, let's just use the split view here to compare the before and after. So I can drag here, and here is my before, so that's the original image, and this is the effect that the haze removal filter will have, which is quite dramatic. So once we're happy with the result, we can just click apply and the haze removal will then be applied to our image. Now again, this is a destructive filter, so what you may want to do, if I just undo that haze removal, is duplicate your background pixel layer. Okay, let's just click in here and call this haze removal. Okay, and then we'll run the haze removal filter again. Okay, let's just bring the strength up, bring exposure correction down slightly, and click apply. And then we have a backup layer of the original image before we applied the haze removal. And of course, you can even blend between these two layers. For example, I could reduce the opacity as well. And there we go, just a quick overview of the haze removal filter.